Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, we'll be continuing our biostatistics series, Regression Analysis. If you know you are new to this channel, please kindly press the subscribe button and put on the notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Regression analysis is a statistical technique that is used to model the relationship between variables. Usually one is dependent variable and one or more independent variables. It is widely used to predict and analyze the behavior of various variables. We have types of variables. You know, as I mentioned before, we have the dependent variable and the independent variable. The dependent variable is the variable of interest, the variable that we are actually carrying our study on. Why the independent variable is the variable that is actually used to predict the dependent variable. We have various models of regression analysis, but in this video, I'll be covering the linear regression analysis. Linear regression analysis is used to predict the value of a variable based on the value of another variable. As I mentioned earlier, one of the variables is dependent and the other is actually an uh, independent variable. Let's take a look at this example. Prefer a, a, a linear regression analysis on the data below to evaluate the impact of nitrogen fertilizer on crop yield. Now, remember, nitrogen fertilizer is the independent variable because you apply it. You are determining, the, uh, you are using it to predict if you apply this uh, amount of fertilizer, you, 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 are, you are going to study and use it to predict the outcome of the yield. So the outcome, the crop yield in this case is now the dependent variable. Why the fertilizer that you are applying is actually the independent variable. And determine the crop yield. Now look at the question. You, are, you have been asked to perform a linear regression analysis on the data below to evaluate the impact of nitrogen fertilizer on crop Yield and determine the crop yield when 330 fertilizer per kg per hectare was applied. The data you can see on the board. When this no fertilizer was applied, you have three as your crop yield. The crop yield is in tons per hectare. When 50 uh, kilogram was applied to an acre, the crop yield increased to four. When 100 was applied, it increased to five. So based on this, you are now being asked to create a model so that you can predict, you can now determine even when 1,000 is applied, when you have the model, you can just put this independent variable into the system and it will give you the amount of crop yield or expected what crop yield to predict the crop yield. Regression uh, formula is y equal to a plus bx. Now, y is the dependent variable, which is what we are looking for. A is the y-intercept, b is the slope of the regression line, and x is the independent variable. How do you look for A? Since you are giving x and y in the question, you have to look for A and B, so that you can use this equation to predict the outcome for any uh, for any given value of x, you cannot predict the value of what? y. All right. Formula for calculating for a, you can see it on the board. Formula for calculating for b, you can see it on the board. All right. Now, please note that there are different methods of calculating regression of of uh, or different formulas for regression or uh, analysis. But I have to pick this method because. It seems very direct and easy. So in this method, you have to form this table. You have to form this table. I guess you are used to this table in correlation analysis in my previous video. So you pick the value for x. All the value for x is given here. The value for y is given here. You have to look for the s square. 0 square, you have this. 50 square, you have this. 100 square, you have this. Now, you do the same for y. You look for y square. So 3 square, you have 9. 4 square, you have 16. 5 square, you have 25. And the last column, look for x, y, which is 0 times 3, you have 0. 50 times 4, you have 200. 100 times 5, you have 500. So you look for Then after that, what will you do? You look for the sum. Sum of x, you sum everything here. You put it here. Sum of y, you sum 
Some of x squared you do the same, some of y squared you do the same, and some of x y you do the same. After that, you now calculate for a. Remember, you need a and b to be able to carry out your prediction. All right, so you now calculate for a. A is gotten using this formula as I've stated earlier. Sum of y, you can see the sum of y is 25. Put the 25 there times sum of s square. This is sum of s squared, which is 75,000. You put it there. Minus sum of x. This is sum of x, 500. You put it there. Multiply sum of x. Y. Some of S Y is here, you put it there. You can see at the bottom you have N. N is number of values. In the question you know is 5. Then this is sum of S square. Sum of S square you have 75,000 minus. Here you have sum of S, but you have to square it. That's the reason why you have sum of S is 500, but you have to square it. All right. So if you carry out this multiplication, you have this. And see, if you carry out this multiplication, you have this. And if, if you carry out this multiplication, you have this. If you carry out this multiplication, you have this. And if you carry out, if, if you square 500, you have this. Now, take note of this. If you now carry out the subtraction, you have this. If you carry out the subtraction, you have this. And finally, your value for A is 3. After getting A, we have to look for B. To get B, to calculate for B, which is the slope of the regression line, which is the slope of the regression line, to calculate for B, which is the slope of the regression line, B equals to use this formula. It's already been displayed on the board, it's written on the board. So you know that sum of N is 5. You can see it here, number of values. There is 5. Sum of x, y, you can see it here, is 3,000. Sum of x, you can see it being displayed there, is 500. So we already uh, done some of this value before. So you look for sum of x is this, sum of y is this. Now, sum of x squared, you know n is 5. Sum of x squared is actually 7,500. Why? Sum of x, then you square it. Remember, sum of x is inside the bracket, so you put the sum of x, which is 500, inside the bracket, then you square it, which is 500 what square. You carry out this thing, you eventually you get this. Use to multiply this, use to multiply this, and carry out the subtraction, you get this. Use to multiply this, look for the square of this, you carry out the subtraction, you get this. And if you divide, you get this as your answer. Now, after getting this, you can now put this into your regression formula or equation that you have created. And we can now use this to get any value of y, which is the crop yield, which is the dependent variable, depending on the value of x, which is the independent variable. In this case, you are asked to uh, look for the value of y when 330 fertilizer per kg per hectare is being applied. In this case, this is the formula that you have. You know that A is 3, you know that B is 0 0.02. Or 2. So for, 3, 000, uh, for, uh, for 330, you just put the value there. If you, can, if you multiply, you have 6.6 .6 plus 3. You have this. So if you apply this, you can predict that you'll be expecting a crop yield of 9.6 tons per that hectare. You can also do the same. Let's assume that you apply not 330, you apply maybe 250 or 270. Let's just use 270. You know that the equation still remains A plus what? Bx. Since you know A, you know B. This is the equation. Since you know A and you know B, we can now we do this as A is what? 3, as you can, you already know from the calculation, previous calculation, B is 0 0.02. So if we now decide to apply, let's say, 270 uh, kg of fertilizer per hectare, so we now use this to multiply 270. 
can carry out the, the, this using your calculator and you can give me the answer in the text. I don't have, I don't actually have any calculator with me. So I'll be dropping an assignment on the board. Assignment is being displayed on the screen. Solve it and let me know your answer. You can send the answer to my mail at biologyaccess at gmail.com. Thank you very much.